ever since you guys uh, come out and uh, reported on it, 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 it hasn't been blocked since then. You just heard right there, our I-team is getting results. Trains are no longer trapping those folks in their neighborhood for hours at a time. Yeah, this was happening in Clark County along Wynn Road in Mad River Township. The I-team's John Bedell was back there today. And John, people reached out to you for help because they were worried those delays could actually be putting lives at risk. Yeah, Gabby and James, the people that live here along these tracks, they have shared some serious concerns with us. They tell me usually when a train parks right here, it cuts off the only way in or out for more than a dozen homes. But they tell me since the I team started asking questions here, they're not dealing with this problem anymore. Debbie Reynolds texted me this picture, giving me an update on my I team investigation. Yes. Have you ever been so happy to see a parked train right here? I, I was pretty happy. Debbie and her neighbors reached out to us last month saying parked trains on this Norfolk Southern Railroad were blocking the crossing. That's the only way in or out of their neighborhood. We've lived here for 50 years. It's always been a problem on, on a monthly basis, two or three times a month, maybe. Debbie sent me these pictures January 8th of a train she says blocked the crossing for four hours that afternoon. People we've talked to say they've missed work, school, and doctor's appointments because of this, and they've worried about being cut off in an emergency. We can't even get to a hospital. Nobody can get to us to help us out. The I-team started asking Norfolk Southern questions January 10th. Our original investigation aired January 11th. Since then, the neighbors say any stopped trains now park short of the crossing, keeping it open. And we hope it continues that way. Hopefully your story got the attention the railroad needed to stay focused on this. I checked Federal Railroad Administration data that shows since 2020, someone has reported this crossing being blocked three times, all since April 2021. But the people we've talked to did not know they could report it through the FRA until we told them that was an option. You call the train company and you get no results. So I thought I would turn to Channel 7 and see if, you know, you could help us out. And you did. We got some results. There's not been a train that's blocked us in since. I reached out to Norfolk Southern again this morning asking them directly, have their train crews now been instructed to stop short of this crossing to keep it open if they have to park here for a while? So far, they have not answered that question. But you can read the entire statement Norfolk Southern did send us at our website, whio.com. Live in Clark County for the I-Team, I'm John Bedell, News Center 7. All right, John.